Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Mama TK in the building. And today, you guys, I got some fried fish and I got some fried shrimp. I got some fried french fries, macaroni and cheese, green beans, and I got some coleslaw and I got some hush puppies. So let's try to get this thumbnail in. So, I worked 16 hours yesterday. I'm tired. My body is miserable. And I know y'all get tired of hearing me say that. But today, I'm hungry. I had a taste for some catfish. But I got one piece of catfish. And I got a piece of flounder. Y'all, it's the mac and cheese. Okay. This is the fried catfish filet that I got. Y'all see how crispy if they fried that? Mmm, mmm. They fried that good. Then I got me fried shrimp. I'm scared to pick the flounder up because it's going to fall apart, y'all. Like I said, it did. But this is some flounder. It's falling apart, so I really can't pick it up. I got some green beans because I need some. Um, mm. And of course, for my shrimp. Boom, boom, boom. I got that boom, boom sauce. And I got me a drink. Mm. I got it from Cat and D's. One of my favorite the places, you know, that gotta drive through. Don't run to right quick. And get something to eat. Mm hmm Let's try this flounder from um Captain Bees. Uh oh. It's Saturday, the 8th. And for what I'm hearing, it's snowing in the ATL, y'all. I'm put this right here. Mm -hmm. so I hear it's snowing in Atlanta, Georgia. Ooh, that flower is good. Ooh, now that's good. Hey, 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 hey. I'm going to get him. Props up for that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But it's funny. Right now, where I live, it's after three. I live in Columbus, Georgia. We got an hour. And like 45 minutes away from Atlanta. Mm -hmm. Nick Rickman's got me them. They good job. Mm. Got my shrimp. Y'all live in Atlanta. When y'all experiencing some of the snow, leave me a comment down below me and tell me how, what's going on up there with the weather. You know, this day um boom boom shrimp sauce. Ooh, mm, 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 mm. it is so good that boom boom shrimp sauce. Spicy and sweet. Boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Mm. 
Mm. Fried shrimp, baby. That's a piece of that fish on that bumbo shrimp sauce, the um, flounder. Mmm. Mmm. I don't see a lot of Black History Month videos. Uh, I see a lot of the older ones, but not too many new, new ones. And I think being T. Don't play Marshall this week. I forgot what day it's supposed to come out. I was at work and I saw the commercial. I got some vinegar on my fries. A vinegar? I'm cutting these on your fries. It'd be so good. Maybe I ever get some vinegar. I make fries for cutting these. Put some vinegar on your fries. Need more ketchup than that. Mm -hmm. So, Maya, can you pull us up a black history fact? I said, pull up a black history fact. We're going to try to get us a black history fact then in, in this video. You represent for Black History Month. Y'all deserve to have the black history fact. We got to keep it going. We got to keep uplifting our people. I mean, everybody needs to be uplifted, but our community most definitely need to be uplifted. Mm. What you got, Mike? She, she trying to see what Siri's going to pull up, y'all. On her iPhone. Mmm. Bring it here, baby. Oh, my mouth burning. That hot sauce. You know, Jack, I got water in this cup. I ain't get no soda today. Okay, y'all. So, this is the Black History fact. Before, that was Rosa Park. That was Claudette. Colby. Okay. Hold on. Most people think of Rosa Parks as the first person to refuse to give up their seat on the bus in Montgomery, Alabama. There were actually several women who came before her, one of whom was Claudette Colvin. It was March the 2nd, 1955. When the 15-year-old schoolgirl refused to move to the back of the bus, nine months before Rosa Parks' stand that launched the Montgomery bus boycott, Claudette had been studying black, black leaders like Harriet Tubman in her segregated school. Those conversations had led to discussions around the current day Jim Crow laws. They were all experiencing, excuse me, when the bus driver excuse me, ordered Claudette to get up. She refused. It felt like Sir John of Truth was on the side pushing me down and Harry Tubman was on the other side of me pushing me down. I couldn't get up. This this is good information, y'all, because I didn't know. You know this. Claudette Coleman stand didn't stop there. Arrest, she was arrested and thrown in jail. Wow. 15. She was one of four women. Who challenged the segregated law and court. And, and Browder versus Gale became the court state case that Successfully overturned bus segregation laws in both Montgomery 
and the whole state of Alabama. And while I was calling that story, men largely forgotten. At the time, the NAACP and other black organizations felt Rosa Parks made it better. I come from the movement than a teenager. As an adult with the right look, Rosa Parks was also the secretary of the NAACP and was both well known and respected. People would associate her with the middle class and that would attract support for the cause. But the struggle to end segregation was often fought by young people, more than half of which were women. Wow. And this is Claudette Colvin. C-O-L-V-I-N. Claudette Colvin. She was 15 and she did hers weeks before Rosa Parks. I'm not discrediting Rosa Parks, but this is a little known black history fact that um, a lot of people didn't know. And this article was written by Philip, I mean, the picture was done by Philip Hoos. Um, I found this on Google, y'all, and it's black history. Safari. And it's, um, Black Culture Connection, 10 Little Known Black History Facts. So that's our Black History Fact for today. And we're going to try and get more Black History Facts in as Black History Month moves on. I will be putting um, a picture of Claudette in this video um, as a split screen, okay? Thank you, Maya, for pulling up that Black History Fact for us. Oh. Shout out to her and her family. She should not have been thrown in jail at her age. I mean, how do y'all feel about how far we have come as a people? Do y'all feel like now that we have an opportunity to just ride the bus here in the South? There's so many people going in on ride the bus. I really know. Like, well, I live my grandma ain't that far from him. But, our bus is out on Sunday. Majority of people who ride the bus are black. in my city. And they really don't go where you need to go. Like, they don't. They don't run all night. Like, they're doing big cities. So it still kind of hinders some other southern black people from working, like mothers and fathers who have third shift jobs here in our area. Well, the wages here are low, extremely low. If you're a nurse, a doctor, a lawyer, or a judge, it's hard to make a living here in Columbus, Georgia. I mean, you can survive and make it. But the struggle is real here. And it's sad. Now, we don't have homeless people like out in LA hanging out there. Well, we do have some homeless people. Not that many. The cost of living is going up. Up, up, and up here. So it's not a joke. I wish that prices on homes wouldn't go up. Cause that one People will be able to afford housing, you know? And that's one of the major issues is housing. Y'all are driving cars off. 
Who know when it comes to property? You can see this. Well, if you don't believe in gentrification, it is very, very real. I mean, like, it is super real. I need to eat me green beans, y'all. I don't. I need to get back to eat my vegetables. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. Fried, fish fries are big in the South, honey. Like, family reunions and everything. You might just walk up somebody's house on the Friday after work or Sunday. We had a bell deep frying one, they'll be outside frying fish or in the kitchen. Now get back to the subject. Um gentrification, y'all. It's big. And I know a lot of us don't like living in certain neighborhoods because it's cheaper, but the violence is real in a lot of our African-American communities, and I just wish that people would stop the violence. Like, we're hurting your own culture. We're hurting your own people. You're taking tax dollars out of your community where you live at. Y'all look at that boom boom sauce on that shrimp. You may not realize it, but you are. I got my shrimp bag over here, y'all. I'm going to put them shrimp in there. Ooh. Bumbo sauce is spicy and sweet. Mmm. 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 Mix it with your tartar sauce. It would be nice to have more black property developers in the black neighborhoods that are legit there for the community. I know they're gonna make a profit at the same time, but they really won't. To uplift the community and not just come in and paint Sweep the floor and mop it and put it up for rent. I might want to make sure that people have good living conditions. And stop charging people eighteen hundred dollars to live in the ghetto. A thousand dollars. And I know some of y'all like. But in Georgia, you can get a three bedroom, 500. You can, but it's going to be ragged. Not really up to par. And they're going to be in a bad area if it ain't in the country. But I guess what I consider to be a bad area compared to people. And this is catfish, y'all, that live in New York. It's totally different from what we experience him. Like, I just don't get the violence that we do. That I ain't gonna say we, because I don't commit no violence. But y'all know the violence that we experience. And they probably stick in areas or people who would go out and bother people who work hard for their money. Mm. Mm. Mm, I didn't do that napkin up. I'm gonna get another one. Mm, mm -mm. Oh, this is so good, but that. That hot sauce is on deck, but it's spicy. And this hot sauce spicy me and marry them. I'm gonna tell like I had some that be love hot sauce. 
on the way her brother chilling with Wild B breathing. I believe her hot sauce is hotter than two times spicy sauce. And I'm still trying. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. You know, nobody don't like seafood. I don't know why she don't like seafood. My honey don't like seafood. Huh? Why you don't like seafood? I tasted it, so I can say that it's nasty because I tasted it. You want to take one of these shrimps? No. Ooh, yeah. You have that shrimp I spread on one side. I thought it wasn't going to be a big deal. Did you like I it? I ain't one of those shrimps that taste like it. Mike said the shrimp taste like the bottom of the ocean, y'all. That's not cool. Mm -mm 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 -mm. This green bean good. I'm going to tell y'all my favorite place down here to go get green beans from. Just the barbecue. Mm -hmm. Just the barbecue in Phoenix City, so no good. I wonder if they open on Sunday. I wonder if Ed's Country Cooking open tomorrow. Go over there and see what he got. Give me a plate from him. Yup. Oh, I'm getting full, y'all. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I'm going to eat my last little shrimp. Mmm. Them bumbo sauce is good. Y'all should try it. If y'all ain't tried it yet. I want y'all to leave me some comment down below. Well, some black history people to talk about. Because like what we just talked about with Claudette Colvin. I would have been scared at 15 to do that. I don't know. I'm trying to imagine what it felt like. Being in her shoes. And going to jail at age 15 because you want to sit on the bus. It ain't right. It ain't right. Another thing ain't right that they don't teach us about nobody but Rosa Park, which is good. We know about Rosa Park, and I'm proud of her, and I'm happy, and I'm so grateful. But we have so many people who fought for us. It just wasn't one or two or three people that they like to discuss. You know how we have to do our own research and bring awareness to things. That's just like the movie Just Mercy. If you haven't seen it, go see it. Because they're about awareness to some stuff for me. Mm-hmm. We have one hush but over here, y'all. My coat's all blending in with the white on the plate. Mm-hmm. 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 We can go to a restaurant that can't do all that. Oh, y'all, I'm so full. But it's so good, I almost stop. I'm going to have to because I'm going to have to eat this fish for another time. I got some more shrimp over here. I'm going to finish a piece of fish. Am I finished then? Honey, child, I ain't back to eat. Um, tomorrow, <laughs> it's like super duper late. So I probably go to Ed Country and get me a plate. Well, this time of day open. It's so for just right. And I'm gonna do a soul food video. I don't know. 
so mm. I am stuffed to the max. I'm full, y'all. I mean, man, I got three hush puppies left. And man, she just spoon full of the coleslaw. Mm. I love coleslaw. I really do. It's a vegetable, and that's something I definitely need. I'm gonna start putting more fiber in my diet. Yeah, I list down below some high fiber foods I can eat. Mm. Yeah, it help my digestive tract. I like eat a lot of meat. Yeah. Well, I'm full, and I ate as much as I can eat. Y'all go ahead, like, comment, share, subscribe. Share this video out to each and every one you know. Leave lots of comments down below. And come back and stay tuned to my video for another mukbang slash review of some food that I'm eating on, hot topics, good conversation, and more history facts. Peace, love, and have grace.